I decided to start our Tuesday morning with a story. No sleep for the sheep. And if you look at this, you'll see that it looks like it's fiction or nonfiction. You're right. It's got to be fiction with characters that look like that. And it probably takes place on a farm. And it looks like our main character is highlighted in the center. Let's start reading No Sleep for the Sheep, written by Karen Beaumont. Illustrated by Jackie Urbanovic. Oh, there's a sheep. He's in his little barn. Here we go. In the big red barn on the farm on the farm, in the big red barn on the farm, a sheep fell asleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. I bet you could even read that yourself. Nice job, let's go to the next page. Then there came a loud quack at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep. See, Mrs. Williams has to get better at this. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door and please don't quack anymore. Quack, said the duck. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud bah! at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Just too many people at his farm. Go to sleep, said the sheep and the goat to the goat at the door, and please don't bah anymore. So so far you have to think who's been interrupting that poor sheep's sleep. Let's go back. Hmm. The first thing to interrupt the sheep was a quack. The next thing to interrupt the sheep's sleep was the bah. So the goat. Let's see who's interrupting him next. Bah, said the goat in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. I'm predicting. Are you predicting? All good readers are predicting, aren't they? I think there's got to be more. Then there came a loud oink at the door at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the pig at the door, and please don't oink anymore. Oink, said the pig at the barn, in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the big, the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Okay, duck, goat, pig, moo, said the cow in the barn. Shh, not a peep, go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud neigh at the door, at the door, and the sleep, sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the horse at the door, and please don't neigh anymore. And you can see he's got a little mischievous grin on his face, that horse. Neigh, said the horse in the barn. Shh, not a peep. I have to get better. Not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Oh, she's frustrated. Look at all her emotions. I have felt that before. I have. I have felt that way. Soon the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. In a deep, deep sleep in the big red barn in the big red barn, barn on the farm. Then, there they are. Cock -a Wake up, all of you! Hey, sheep, that means you too. But the sheep slept right on through. Through the nays and the moos and the cock a doodle doos in the big red barn on the farm. <laughs> and we wonder why, right? Why do you think that sheep had to keep sleeping through the cock a doodle doo? She was still tired! I hope you enjoyed this story. You can go back and um, read this one another time for yourself. Have a great Tuesday.